Hello guys, welcome to another After Effects tutorial. My name is Jayla Scanlon and today we're going to be learning some basic editing in After Effects. Um, more specifically, we're going to be talking about how to insert and remove keyframes. So adding and removing keyframes um, in this tutorial, let's get started. So um, I've opened up my footage, created a new composition uh, with this video. Um, and so what I want to do is I want to you know, set some keyframes, maybe not to the footage itself, but um, to some text that I want to bring into the footage. So right now I have my footage and I want to go up here to the text button and then click just inside of the stage and just write something. I had 347 and then um, I just click away and now we have our footage. Grab the selection tool and I can play around with this can move it around and, you know, maybe scale it up um, you know, that's um, harder ways of scaling it or you can just if you remember push S uh, to bring up the scale and let's just make it just a bit bigger and there we have it so we have this maybe I'll bring it down you know I can add some effects to it but uh, just keep it like this at the moment so now we want to start adding and uh, removing some keyframes first of all we have to set keyframes so right now you know, um, and the text is just static, so we want to add a little animation using keyframes with it. And I'm going to play around with the opacity. So I have my text layer selected right here, and if I push T on the keyboard, I bring up my opacity. And so I want the text to start at about one and a half seconds, and then I want it to fade and disappear. So I want it to start at zero. And so right now we have it at zero. Um, actually we have it at a hundred percent so we want to click on the stopwatch and we have set our first keyframe and so I want this to be zero so I can click and drag it down or you can just click it and type in zero and hit enter so now there's nothing and then I want it to be solid at about one and a half you know yeah one and a half seconds and so what I want to do is I want to set a keyframe or actually you can just click right there on the 0% and just type in 100% and as you can see we now have an animation where it fades in so I want it to remain for just a second and then just before I'm about to jump I want it to fade away and so uh, I'll keep it for a time and so 2 and 12 seconds 2 seconds and 12 milliseconds I should say I guess I want it to just stay there so what I need to do is I have to set another keyframe of 100% and I did that just by clicking add or remove keyframe just on this side right over here and uh, the reason why is because I want it to stay 100% within this point of time and then just as I'm about to jump I want it to fade away so maybe three seconds and then I want to make this zero so we have our first animation we can play that back by hitting space and as you can see it shows and then it disappears. Pretty cool animation, uh, pretty basic, and you can play around with the different types of effects that you can use, uh, not just the opacity, but the scaling, you know, you can mess around with it. So now we've added our keyframes. So what if we don't like it? What if we want to change it? What if we want to extend it? So we have um, a few ways of doing this. So right now we have it, you know, it, it stays for quite a bit of time, you know, maybe, well, three seconds is pretty short if I wanted it to remain longer there are a few ways of doing that you can click on these actual keyframes just by clicking on it or you can select multiple by clicking and dragging across now something to note if I wanted this to last longer I would have to drag both of these ones further out because as I drag these two they keep the same data so between this keyframe and this keyframe between those two it's a hundred percent and zero percent so no matter what happens I know that it's going to fade away okay and so if I wanted it to fade a bit later I can click and drag that across or if I just wanted to set another keyframe depending on you know what the footage shows then I can actually select the keyframe I don't want and click delete and then I can move across, find where I want to um, have, you know, the the text to fade away, like five seconds, 
and then add another keyframe remembering that you always have to change um, your settings because you want it to disappear at five seconds so zero and there and we have our new animation so just to recap remembering that adding your um, keyframes brings up a little you know little points right here and you can add multiple keyframes by clicking on the side here if you hover over it it shows add or remove keyframe and then you can easily delete them by just hitting the delete button after selecting a keyframe you can also select multiple keyframes and move them around depending on what your purpose is and also to remember that between those two keyframes we already have data that's been stored because the keyframes have stored them for you and that's pretty much it for this uh, basic editing tutorial so now you can try using keyframes um, for any purpose whether it's opacity whether it's for rotation whether it's for position um, anything you want so whatever you set keyframes to um, you can um, easily erase them and uh, add them whenever you can just uh, really quick um, let's set a position um, keyframe and then move it across to maybe four seconds and then let's change the position of this text to this angle down here and as you can see we now have two types of animation that we're showing and so one thing I wanted to point out is we have our um, shortcuts for position opacity so P for position T for opacity R for rotation and S for scale um, if we wanted to show all the different keyframes that we've already set you just click U on the keyboard and it brings up all the different keyframes with its respective um, you know attribute so if it's position and opacity then you've changed the position and opacity and not the rotation or the scale so that's our tutorial for today hope you enjoyed it so go around and start playing around with your um, keyframes start making those edits for your video thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it uh, feel free to leave me any comments or any uh, questions if you have them my name is Jayla Scanlon and i will see you in the next tutorial